Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I have to make sure I'm recording. Okay, audio seems good, and we are a go. Oh, actually, you know, I forgot to change my notification settings like I said I would between these episodes. So I just hit record again. Uh, my bad. Hopefully that doesn't become a problem, but you know what? I'm gonna, like, write it down. I don't have anywhere to write it down. Never mind, I'm not gonna write it anywhere. But I'll... I'll... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna look at these die on my table, and I'm gonna say... Oh, well, that's weird that they all are on one, and then I'm gonna remember, oh yeah, that's because I have to change my settings. There you go. <laughs> Little mementos like that are what ma what help me remind, or re yeah, remind myself of things. I don't know why, but I always, I'm very forgetful. Uh, wait, what? I can mount Moon from far away because I want a, I want a Pokemon I can ride on. That's right, you can ride on a certain Pokemon like Onix. You can ride on Onix. What? That sounds amazing. Okay, hang on. Uh, I don't. I, I think we might as well heal, actually. I, I, we might be low. I don't think we healed since the last one. Yeah, okay, we are low. <clears throat> I, I, I forgot, yeah. We're leading with Beedrill. Are we okay with that? Eh, I, I do want to take out Ekans and Bulbasaur, though, from the party. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, party. Open box. Okay, and then let's take you. Oh, no, not you. I'm in trouble navigating the menus, as always. I can do pretty much everything else in this game, but na navigating menus and typing names, I will never get used to that. Okay, and then... Hello, sir. You got a lot of Pokemon, you'll end up with more than you can carry around in your party. All the ones you, can carry, you can't carry, or... You can just stow in the Pokemon, bo Pokemon box in your bag, so no sweat. Plus, no matter how full your Pokemon, gets, or your Pokemon box gets, it's easy to search to find the Pokemon you want. Oh, hello there. Oh, he, this is the guy for the Magikarp. I'll buy it. Why not? Actually, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna not buy it just in case it's soft resettable. I doubt it because it's, uh, you know, uh, a gift Pokemon. I don't think you can soft reset uh, gifts. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> uh, the gift Magikarp soft resetting. The hell was that? Gifts are soft resetting the gift Magikarp. I think my Pokemon just went away and it made a big flash. <laughs> it's actually singing. Nice. And Eevee's sleepy. <laughs> Try to catch a Pokemon, yes? Yeah? So you sometimes see a green, or green ring, yeah? That kind of Pokemon's easy to catch, yeah? Rings yellow would be a bit harder, yeah? It's a red ring, yeah? That Pokemon might be really hard to catch. Uh, is it like asleep? Is that what it wants me to see? Yeah. <laughs> Could be heard Jigglypuff singing and passed out. Just let it sleep, right? Looks wide awake there, but, you know, whatever you say, game. Alright, I think we're gonna head straight into Mount Moon now. There's a Meowth up there. Alright. Sure. <laughs> Mount Moon. I'm curious to see how... Ooh, it's uh, Team Rocket. I'm curious to see how encountering Pokemon works. Dude, they look great in this game. Hmm, looks like there's nothing here. Then let's just search farther in. <laughs> you, you were eavesdropping on us just now, weren't you? Uh, Meowth, you were supposed to be keeping watch. Oh, it doesn't speak English in this game. Zero out of ten. Uh, we know there's a rare fossil buried around here somewhere. If, we got, if you've got any, you better hand them over to us, Twerp. That's right. If anyone's going to profit off those rare fossils, it's going to be us. ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Meow, that's right. I remember that. That's... Oh, man, I used to... I, I'm pretty sure as a kid I watched, like, every episode of the Pokemon anime. What do we got? Potion. There's gonna be a Moonstone around here somewhere. When we find that... Oh, there's a hidden item here. I remember it. There's not a hidden, hidden item. I'm checking all these craters just in case. There's Zubats everywhere. Okay, I think that's the Moonstone, so... I'm gonna refrain on evolving uh, Nidorino. Oh yeah, I also have to check that before the next episode. Check uh, when Nidorino evolves. Bug catcher Kent. Get that Butterfree. Super pack. I don't know if this is gonna be neutral or super effective, because. Okay, it's super effective because this thing's actually bug flying. I when I found that out as a kid, I was shocked. I really thought it was bug psychic, and I was like, "That's such a cool color or uh, type combo." And I used Butterfee like crazy. Oh, see, there you go. That's why I got to turn my notifications off. 
Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I really gotta turn that off next. Or I, I really should turn that off before. <sighs> I was shocked when I found that out. Really, so this is the moonstone, right? No, it's great balls. I mean, the moonstone should be in here somewhere, right? Or maybe it's like uh, maybe stone evolutions aren't a thing anymore. Ooh, it's a Paris. I guess you know we should catch. Uh, you know, new species. I say you know a lot because I try to keep a conversation going fluently. Get your Pokeball, uh, or get your Pokeball through the moving ring and you can get a bonus for a great technique. As the ring gets smaller, there's your chance, or that's your chance to try to snag a great bonus. Of course. It's almost like the game doesn't know I hunted for a shiny Nidoran. A one, a two, a three. Done. That's a Paris. If we find an Onyx, I'm definitely going to want to catch that. Maybe even put it on the team. Because if we can ride it, that sounds amazing. So, sign me right up. I hope it's friggin' massive. <laughs> to the party, that's fine. Keep it like that for now. And then, okay, that thing disappeared. Fight the Zubat. As a kid, I always thought that Zubat's ears were uh, were his eyes. I don't know why. You can kind of see, right? He looks, he looks kind of sick like that. But, uh, yeah, at one point my friend told me, no, dude, those are ears. I was like, what were his eyes then? Couldn't believe that he was blind. All right, and... That is not where my center point was, you lying game. Okay, well, it's a Zubat, so surely that's enough, right? I did a, a strong throw, so... Right? Yeah, okay. You really don't have to hit the center for most Pokemon. You can just do a hard throw, and as long as you hit them, it'll, it'll work. I never failed on Nidoran doing that anyways. I, I did fail a couple of throws on Nidoran, but I, I never failed it if I threw it hard. Okay. I know when we find that, like, pit of water, there's a hidden item in that. I mean, if there's not, I'm going to be shocked, because I remember that. Hello? What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. <laughs> I don't even know why I read Pokemon dialogue at this point. <laughs> it's just gibberish. I love it. Last Evelyn sent out Bellsprout. Evelyn's a League of Legends character, right? Another game I never played, but you know, it's a it's a big part of our culture. It's important to acknowledge it. Over the peck, I'm like bringing my my controller up as if I'm gonna have to throw a Pokeball at this thing. Wait, I love I love this Bellsprout little little dance it's doing. <laughs> and then pick it again. Boom. Pop, pop. Good, good. Last Evelyn. Last Evelyn. Trying to make a, a song out of that doesn't really work. I guess we should check out the whole first floor of this area first, and then we'll try the uh, ladders. I think this one's safe, though. Ugh, you're pretty fast, kid. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I'm pretty sure this one leads to the tunnel and then to that nugget. Right? If I remember. I remember my nugget. Oh man, this is so cool. Playing a Gen 1 game in 3D. I'm, I'm in love. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we we'll fight this guy. I remember Mega Punch being on top of that rock, but that's not it. That's definitely not what's up there. Okay. Cool little uh, intro for Team Rocket. Sent out Radita. Of course. <laughs> Can't expect... Uh, Team, or Team Rocket grunts to have the strongest things, can you? Let's go for a Twin Needle. Okay, we can take those. At around, like, level 20, I think, Beedrill learns Poison Jab, and then, like, it becomes really good. But that's nowhere near us. It might even be before level 20. It's actually pretty crazy. Like, that's the type of move that most Pokemon would learn at, like, level 40 or something. But yeah. Pretty good stuff right there. I think someone upstairs is like moving shit around. I don't know if the mic is picking it up. It probably is because it's pretty bassy. Uh, and you know, you probably hear like a bit of a boom, boom, boom. But yeah, I think someone's moving a couch up there. Perfect timing. I remember there was like a week that I couldn't record because they were doing renovations up there, and every five minutes you would just hear boom, 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 and then. Um, let's heal up. That's what I wanted to do. Medicine. Okay, let's throw a potion on Drew. Again, I don't know, even know if I'm going to use Drew. Uh, I'm just keeping him in the team right now, because why not? Catch this guy. 
Geo dude. <laughs> Wait for him and then you go like that. Perfect. That was basically what I did for every Nidoran catch. You wait for them to attack and then you start throwing. What? I didn't throw that hard, that's why. That should be it. Even though I missed the circle, that should be it. That was a hard throw. Watch. See? I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like they should have made it so that hitting the center was more rewarding than just throwing the ball hard. <laughs> it's a lot easier to do that. Indigo level 12. What's another horn attack? I don't think we're gonna do that. I still I still feel like headbutt's better. This is 65 or something, right? Yeah, 65, 100. Uh, headbutt's just better. I'm never gonna give up on learning that one. It's more fitting, sure, but headbutt's just better. It's kind of the same thing, right? Either way, he's hitting him with his head. Just one stronger. <laughs> I'm gonna pick the stronger one. Yeah, I, I remember this being a TM, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, it's a rare candy. I thought it was gonna be a nugget. Shows that I know. I was putting the candy jar. Fitting. Hey, hang on, let me let me two-hand this. This is a two-handed weapon. <laughs> Let me do uh seems interested in the geodude you just caught. That's a big one. It's cool you can actually tell when like, they're slightly bigger in the overworld when they're uh huge or tiny. Ooh, oh, wow, okay, I see how it is. <laughs> just body block me like that. We, I'm guessing that Pokeball up there means we already caught it. I, I had that short term of memory. I know we fought a, a Zubat, but I didn't have any memory of catching it. But, 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 but. I say but all the time. I like to say but, and I cannot lie. This other grammar can't deny. I don't know, where do you get Onyx? I'm guessing maybe, uh, I don't know, second floor? Who are you? Uh, what? Don't sneak up on me. I need to see your face to know what voice to give you. Oh, <laughs> now I wish I didn't see that. Super Nerd Joven. It's Jovenshire. I don't even remember what he did. I just, I remember the name Jovenshire. He's also two feet tall, so we have something in common. Again, it's all of these people that we fight and even our character. And maybe our character less so. They actually look like kids, but... Everybody in this game, <laughs> I'm gonna write a creepypasta about this. <laughs> Everybody in this game looks like an adult that was shrunk down to two feet tall. Except for Brock. Brock was really tall. Okay. Lynchton couldn't move. That's what we're talking about. Alright. I don't really mind giving the experience to, uh, to Drew. Just, you know. Doesn't, doesn't matter to me. Uh, even if we don't end up using him. I don't want our team to get over leveled, as I say all the time. So if I give it to something else, that's cool. They're they're getting a little bit every time, anyways. So. Still looking for that onyx. I'm not leaving this cave until I get one. And then when I beat Misty, I'm coming back to this cave if I can. I don't know. I don't know how to get back after you go to uh, what do you call it? Uh, after you jump down that ledge for Mountain Moon, I think you can though. You're kind of dumb if you can't. Um, but yeah, after, after Missy, I'm going to come back here with all the lures we're going to get. Because I, I looked it up uh, be between the last episode, and lures only last for like a hundred steps or something. So, yeah. Going to need to get like a good 500 or something, which is going to be a ton of money. I'll do it. Man, can you take this peck? You should like be a two-shot, I'm guessing, right? Jeez, close to a one-shot, actually. Dang. Point in case, I don't want to say we're under leveled or we're over leveled because some trainers have one and you know they're level eight or some have it and they're level twelve. So like inconsistencies. Like I like the idea, you know, it's like just they're trying to show some people have trained more than others, whatever. But still, <laughs> I'd like people to actually have tougher teams in this to fight. I remember this being a rare candy, but it's a repel. <laughs> All right, maybe they change the items around as well. You never know. Oh, I remember. Okay. For sure, the moonstone is uh, on the top left, I believe. There's like an item for it. Or and maybe, if not on the top left, wherever there's a ladder to the top left of that, somewhere around there. Just run away. <laughs> no point in fighting this thing. I almost just snorted. <laughs> I only snort. Like once in a blue moon, but when I do, 
like the most embarrassing thing ever. Uh, wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. Mm, that's what he said? Maybe? Maybe. Maybe. It's a bit of a stretch, right? Last Miriam. Sent out Clefairy. I'm pretty sure Clefairy is like a super rare Pokemon in here. Alright. Also, I, I was all worried about having to hunt for Shiny Charmander. Apparently, uh, when you're on a 31 chain, they're six times more likely to show up. So... You know, that's, that's definitely going to help. It's going to be tough to make it up to 31 with a rare Pokemon, but when you do, it should be appearing left, right, and center, especially with Lourdes. So I, I, I'm feeling like, you know, the episode where we defeat Misty, expect me to have a shiny Charmander in the next uh, next episode. Almost definitely going to happen. And, the whole, and this time I'm not going to record anything. I'm not going to do any of it unless it's on camera. Because I actually want to catch my, my reaction. Because, of course, the one time that I, uh, I was saying, I think, judging by the noise, yeah. The one time where I decide to bring the cam or the, the switch with me somewhere else, I get it. Even though I recorded, like, a good ten hours or something. Not ten hours, no. I, I was only doing it for, like, five hours, actually. Only. <laughs> well, yeah. You, know, you get the idea. How long has this episode been going on for now? 15 minutes, so we've reached the halfway point. See, that's the thing. I, I At first I was going to be doing... I, I wanted to be doing... Uh, I can't even spit the right words out. I wanted to get be doing... <laughs> um, 50, or not 15, but 20 minute episodes. Then I realized if I do 20 minute episodes once a day... I mean, it's just not enough, right? So I feel like 30 minutes a day... It, that, that's plenty, in my opinion. Plenty enough. <clears throat> Sorry about the background noise. I'm just, you know, fidgeting around in my chair. Can't stay put. We aren't doing shit with Pedro. Like, I, I, I want to just bring out Indigo and one-shot everything. <sighs> it's because it's using the fence curl, really. If we can just get this poison, life would be good. Right there. And right there. Poison. Come on. Twin Needle is like super common to poison. You have like a 10% chance both times that it hits. So like, as far as I'm concerned, but two 10% are better than one 10%. We've gotten many more poisons than poisons. <sighs> Do we want to go for like a headbutt? Maybe that does more. Go for a flinch? I don't know. Something. Oh, I bet that just barely kills. We got it, though. I hope this Cease of Trainers with Shinies. I, I remember in, I think it was Ultra Sun and Moon, some dude had a, a golden execute, and I thought that was really cool. Really cool. I think also in Fire Red, there was, like, this one, like, Battle Tower trainer that had a, a shiny Umbreon or something. Shiny Espeon. I never saw it, but I saw it in a video. I was like, whoa, that's cool. Thanks, quit following us. It's been a while. I don't quite remember how James sounds, but I'm doing my best here. Let's go down here. I'm. I'm oh, good night, him. No. I'm doing my best to uh, to you know remember things, but you know, I keep saying you know. Stop saying you know. You know. <laughs> I'm trying my best to remember. I almost just said it again. Uh, things that happened that long ago, right? Because at this point, how, how old is, is Red? Oh, come on, stop doing that. Stop doing that. We haven't seen a Charmander yet, which is kind of concerning. I think Charmander and Clefairy are both in here, and Onyx apparently, so we having some grinding to do. How old is Fire Red and Leaf Green? Because I, I also pl played Red and, and Yellow, but I don't count those. I like Fire Red much better. Actually, I think I had Leaf Green, not not uh, Fire Red, which is funny because I, I I always, as a kid, I, 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 in my adult life, I was always like, hmm, yes, I had Fire Red. But now I think about it, I'm pretty sure I only ever had Leaf Green. Um, I used to love those games though. In and out of every day, I was just putting in every waking hour into that game. So cool. I remember it took so long to do everything in that game because, you know, as a kid, you got about one brain cell and you're just sitting there like, I don't get it. How do I beat 
this guy's level 25 onyx when I only have um, my level 50 uh, Charizard and my four Raditas that I caught and never trained. You know? Stop saying it! Stop! <laughs> okay, title of the episode has been found. You know, that is, that's gonna be it. <sighs> this thing stinks, it's so uncool. You know? <laughs> I don't know what the hell's in me. I, I I normally never say that. Okay, Moonstone should be in the top left here. If my memory serves correct. Serves me right? I don't know. That doesn't count. <laughs> I'm allowed to say the word no. Dude, his beard looks like a big smile or like a big Dude, you know what it looks like? It looks like the two dots on his head on his head are the eyes, right? And then his whole face is just a big nose, and then he has a Mario mustache as his beard. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it for a second. Oh, you see it now. You see it. Just pretend his face and his whole face wasn't there. His, his, his head is just a big nose to it. <laughs> okay, I'm never gonna be able to see that now. Uh, yeah, I can't be doing this with the with Beedrill. No way. Yeah, I need to go. Get out of here. Need your help, bud. Switch. And probably just gonna double kick both this guy's Pokemon. Like, it's nothing. Oh, yeah. Let's see that. Oh, yeah, I, I, I read on the, um, the, well, on Cerebi. I was gonna say the wiki, but Cerebi. Uh, which, don't ever use anything else for Pokemon. Just go to Cerebi. They're the best. Please sponsor me. Uh, <laughs> apparently. You can like get flying Pokemon, right? So if you like jump on your back on the back of your like Pidgeot or something, you can find air Pokemon. Uh, and apparently, you can just find Charizard like on on the first and second route. If you just go up a little bit, there's some uh, Charizards up there. I thought that was pretty cool. Sure, why not? Probably not gonna use this thing, but may as well. Uh, I'll get them out of my my team right here, just so that we don't have this kind of stuff happening. And here comes another double kick. Boom. This thing is done. I feel like we're, we're demolishing things like this because we put all those attack candies on. Right? It's probably way higher. Than, it's attack size is probably way higher than it should be right now. Could be level 14. I don't really want to use Eevee, especially this one, because I'm pretty sure it can never evolve. So... You know, I, I think if we found another Eevee on a route or something, we could evolve that one. But uh, as far as I as far as I know, oh, it's up the top right. I've been fooled. It's a pearl. What? <laughs> Where is the moonstone? They probably put it later in the game to prevent you from having a Needle King right off the bat. If you ever run low, come talk to me, okay? Wait, what? Plenty of Pokeballs. Okay, I guess we'll do it. I don't I don't know what the heck he's gonna do. Uh, but I'm not tossing my Pokeballs out just to see what he does. He probably just gives you like five or, or five Pokeballs or something. Yeah. I don't know. Nothing else to do here? It's so cool that we can just walk around as much as we want and not have to worry about running into Zubath. We just have to, well, not run into them. I love that. Zubat. Cute dude. And a Meowth. Okay, here's the thing. It's just been meowing at us the whole time. It's going to be a plot twist at the end. It's going to say, fuck you. It's going to look at us and say, fuck you, and run away. Audience was shook. Biggest plot twist of 2019. Close to be 2019 anyways. Might as well start saying it now. Moonstone? Revive. That, that is a good idea, though, if they took Moonstones out of Mount Moon. What am I trying to fight this thing for? What am I doing? <laughs> There's no point. Uh, but yeah, that, that would be a really good idea. Because it's kind of stupid for you to be able to have a, a Neo King immediately like that. I want to click it. Oh, just spawned in my way. Stop doing that. Don't punch me. I wonder if you can find a, a huge shiny or a tiny shiny. That'd be cool. God, this looks like shit. <laughs> It, it, don't worry, it doesn't actually look like shit. It's because I'm, like I said, I'm streaming it twice, so it, it like compresses everything. But it's like like this, you know, you can't really even tell. It's like very occasionally you'll notice like a small uh, discrepancy in your video. Hang on, it's like what's going on there. 
Is that how you say that word? I don't even know. The needle's gonna mess this thing up. Uh, the decrepancy? That doesn't sound right. I think that's it. That sounds like something you get at a crepe shop. Um, so yeah. I forgot what I was saying, so never mind. I was gonna keep going with that tangent, but I forgot now. Uh, oh yeah. It's like... Not even really that noticeable for some reason in the 3D, so I'm happy. At least not for me anyways. It, it looks great for me. Ooh, yeah, like when, when I... I, blah, 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 blah. I went and looked at my, uh, my recording for, I think, yeah, today's episode, I went and looked at it, which for you is tomorrow, or is it? No, this is two days ago for you. Uh, I'm trying to get a big backlog going for Pokemon so I don't have to worry about, oh shit, I, I want a shiny hunt, but I have to, you know, go for a Pokemon now, or I have to do an episode now. Uh, aren't those dark colored things fossils? All right, Meowth, go get those fossils. <laughs> Scooping around and go and go already. You can do it, Meowth. <laughs> Poor Meowth. Ooh, okay. I'm so mad that they didn't give it dialogue. That that would have been a really cool thing for them to do. I'm so sad. They were, I, I wonder what the reasoning was behind that. You know. I guess they just they didn't want to put the wrong idea in kids' heads and be like, why won't my pocket mon? talk to me he does not like me Moonstone, revive <laughs> so i think this is like one of the, oh, the last battles right and then we have uh the fossils did it say a drop of water fell right down on his nose that's the cutest thing i'm pretty sure we got this one trainer battle and then uh ahead is gonna be the fossils and we're gonna have to fight the scientists for him you, you already know I'm picking uh, the Helix Fossil. Not even not even a, a choice. Actually, is it though? Because if I Shiny Hunt, Shiny Kabutops is pretty sick. And I always pick Lord Helix, but Shiny... I already have a Shiny... Uh, shiny Ammonite is the thing. You know, I think I might pick Kabuto for once. Because he, he, like, he is actually one of my favorites. But... I, I, I still think I like Ammonite more, right? But like, Kabuto's pretty dang cool. Yeah, I think you know what? I think I will one day actually shiny hunt for uh, Kabuto, shiny Kabuto. It would be a really long uh, reset hunt, probably. I would have to just give the fossil, get out the room, go back in. Uh, or maybe you could just... I bet there's some way to do it quicker. Like, with some shiny hunts, it'd be like... Like the Tyro uh, that I'm hunting in, in Soul Silver. Um, there's this guy who you have to fight him and then he gives you a Tyrogue. But what you can do, and, and you know, then you hunt that Tyrogue. But instead of having to battle him every single time, what you can do is just uh, go to him with your party full. And then when you come back to him with your party empty, then he'll just give it to you immediately. So you, you do the battle and then you come back to him and you save in front of him with an empty party. Hey, stop! I found these fossils, man. They're both mine. <laughs> That's not, that's not his voice. His voice would be like, Oh, these fossils are mine. Without <laughs> that Voltorb? What was his name? I missed it. Alright. <clears throat> be nice to get some ground attacks going on Nidoran as well. Um, probably gonna die here. Let's go for Twin Needle. Thundershot. Ouch. Okay. We can live another one of those, I think. Oh, did that do 11? I don't think we were at 21, were we? We were at like 17, right? Right? I don't know, let's go for it. If we get a poison, I'll be real happy. Uh, okay, yeah, it did do about 7. That one did 6, so... Hooray. Come on, poison, poison, poison! Oh, never mind, I think... Oh no, we just got a, a max roll. Alright, works for me. Cool, cool, cool. Now we're gonna have to swap... Er, swap. <laughs> we're gonna have to swap something out here. Uh, a Magnemite, okay. Indigo can come in here, no problemo. Pokemon, and then send Indigo in there. Switch. Okay, cool, cool. I love the sparkle, it looks so good in this game. I'm really happy I went for this shiny. It took, wait, what? Huh? Why? I'm sorry. Uh, it, 
he's not a ground type yet? This is like crazy news to me. What? I'm shocked. I'm thundershocked. I cannot believe that this guy's not a ground type yet. I never knew that. Wow, okay. I, I, that's a revelation for me. Is, is uh, Nidorina female the same then? Wow! Okay. So then it probably is a good idea to not evolve this thing into Nidorino until after Misty. Because then it would be hitting us super effectively. Oh, but if it's if her Staryu and Starmie have psychic moves, it's going to hit us anyways. I think they probably have like Psybeam or something. Dude, in Fire Red, I remember this, I wanted a Starmie so bad, but I, I didn't know how to get one because I thought Misty Starmie was awesome. Anyways, finally you take a fossil. It's no good being greedy, right? Yoinkers. Let me take the dome. Don't patronize me, all right? I love Ammonite, but I already have a shiny Ammonite, and I think getting a shiny Kabuto would be really cool. I, I think that'd be awesome, so I, I'm gonna go for it. That's a Clefairy, I'm gonna yoink that right away, even though when I'm going for uh, a Charmander, I'm probably gonna find one, but I don't, you know, I don't wanna break my chain or anything, so. I did hear that there's Charmanders in Mount Moon, but there might literally not be. <laughs> I hope there is, though, because if not, I'm not going to know what to hunt. That was a, a strong capture. I might have to go for a strong great on the Echo Fairy. Yeah, okay. Let's go for that, then. Come on. That's it. Boom. <clears throat> that should be a guaranteed capture right there. If not, we'll use a Great Ball, but... Uh, I mean, or, like, just a Raspberry. There you go. Good stuff. I, always, I actually completely forgot we even had raspberries and stuff because I've just been, uh, you know, uh, throwing one Pokeball at everything. And I have caught like 300, I think it was, 300 Nidoran because I, I got rid of them all on my PC and I think the number was 300. So yeah, I'm no, uh, I'm no newbie to that. Oh, that's right, it's a fairy type in this game. So is Jigglypuff, I forgot about that. So where the heck is Onyx? Stop right there. Am I going to get a, uh, make a double uh, speech here? Hands off, that fossil belongs to us. Oh, how did you even get here uh, Get here ahead of us? We're Team Rocket. I'm Jesse, and I'm James. <laughs> Please. Oh. And the two of us are going to take that fossil back. He's got his rose. Let's go. So do we have a double battle, or is it just going to be Meow? Uh, Jesse and James. Double battle will be cool. Yeah, it is a double battle. Oh, this is so cool. Game Freak, I love you guys. You guys are doing some cool ass shit here. Okay. Oh my god, can you? That sounds awful. Oh, but it only goes three three beeps. Oh, I guess they tried to make it like, uh, like Fire Red, because that's the noise you got. Okay. Man, like Earthquake would be nutty here. <laughs> uh, they only got two, so we don't have to worry about them sending any, anything else in. I think we're gonna double into the Ekans right away. And then, yeah, you can headbutt the Ekans, I guess. I should do it, hopefully. I'm not gonna worry about healing uh, Drew up. If they wanna kill it, so be it. Okay. There's a second headbutt. Perfect, got it. Now it's, two -on it's a two on one. That's how you gotta do double battles, focus on one side. Now what are you doing? Tackle? Oh, okay, good. That means we get to keep uh, Beedrill. <laughs> Not that it matters, it's just, you know. Gotta keep the uh, the lives going as long as you can. I'm not doing a Nuzlocke. Maybe one day I'll come back and do a quicker, like, edited series and do a, a Nuzlocke of it, but that won't be for a while, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think uh, anybody wants to see two Let's Plays of this game in a row. Didn't actually kill it. Wow, that's right. Uh, Coughing's actually super bulky. I always forget that. But we did get a flinch since we're both hitting it with headbutts, so not the most uncommon thing. It's like 30% for a, a flinch, something like that. Is it 30% or is it 15? Either Serene Grace makes it 30 or 60. I forget, but yeah, I, I just remember Serene Grace uh, on headbutting the night. Whenever I stop recording after this, I really can't be recording while I'm sick. Like, uh, I'm, my head's, like, going light, <laughs> if that makes sense. 
Uh, I need to get more water in me. Breathe, relax. A twerp beat us? <laughs> Uh, looks like Team Rocket's blasting off! <laughs> what do you want, Avi? <laughs> <laughs> looks completely exasperated. <laughs> That's cute that he has little reactions for what happens in the game. That's adorable. Not a Clefairy. Do I want to, I want to get a, a catch chain going on a Clefairy? Oh, it runs away from you. Sort of. <laughs> Nah, we won't worry about that. I guess we could go for a shiny Clefairy. So I didn't get an Onyx from my uh, little run through here. Maybe, I, let's see, I'm probably nearing 30 minutes now, right? Oh, 35, wow, okay, that kind of flew by. Well, I'm gonna end off here, and I'm gonna start the next episode off, if I remember, trying to find an Onyx. Uh, and when I find the Onyx, I'll hit, I'll hit start recording, or you know, I'll, I'll just record the whole time and then uh, intro when I find the Onyx, and we'll continue. First, I'm gonna have to do a couple of things. Number one, turn off notifications. Number two, look up uh, if Charmander and Onyx spawn in there. Number three, look up uh, what when to evolve Nidorino. Got it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, hang on. See you next time. <laughs>